We are just over halfway through 2020, and let's face it, in terms of games on Nintendo Switch, this year has been slightly underwhelming. Sure, big hits like Animal Crossing are bound to keep us entertained for months if not years to come, but must-play releases like this have sadly been few and far between, causing many of us to wonder, is this it? And if you were thinking the same thing, we're breaking down the games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2020, some officially confirmed and some that are rumoured. So prepare yourselves, because it's about to get interesting. Rumours are abound that Pikmin is set to make a surprise return in 2020, with a remaster of the third game. Originally released on the Wii U back in 2013, the threequel saw three astronauts explore a planet inhabited with Pikmin in an attempt to find resources for their home world. The bite-sized chunks of gameplay, which mix time management and survival elements, will be the perfect fit for the Switch, so it's no wonder why Nintendo has chosen it to bolster their first-party output. Plus, if it's popular, it would prove that the franchise is still viable for a mainstream audience. While the game and its release date are still unconfirmed, GameBeat have teased that a deluxe version of the game is slated to surface soon alongside a number of other remasters from Nintendo's back catalogue. Speaking of which, it's been 35 years since Mario first made his foray into games, and Nintendo were hoping to celebrate this milestone at this year's E3 with a big reveal, before COVID-19 derailed their plans. We thought Paper Mario was the only game we were getting featuring the portly plumber in 2020, but a report from Video Games Chronicle has revealed that Nintendo are remastering a number of previous Mario games for the Switch, including Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy, which would come as part of a collection similar to Super Mario All-Stars, while other games like Super Mario 3D World will get the deluxe treatment with their own releases. It's a smart move on Nintendo Nintendo's part, giving players a chance to replay their favourite entries in the series once again, as well as introducing younger gamers to their mascot's best outings, and will tide us over until the inevitable Super Mario Odyssey 2. The Switch has been pretty good to Pokemon fans so far, with the releases of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and the wildly popular Pokemon Sword and Shield last year. But if you thought that's all we were getting from Pikachu and Pals for a while, think again, because two new games are coming soon in the form of Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Unite. It's been 20 years since the original Snap debuted on the Nintendo 64, and this follow-up will see players grab their cameras once again to capture photos of Pokemon in their natural habitats. Instead of being developed by Game Freak, who produced the mainline games in the series, duties have been handed over to Bandai Namco Studios, who were behind the Wii U's Pokken Tournament. And although there's no firm release date for the spin-off, budding photographers can expect to start filling out their photo decks very soon. Pokemon Unite, on the other hand, is a League of Legends-style team-based strategy game from Tencent's Timmy Studios, and sees players battle it out in 5v5 arenas, catching wild Pokemon and overtaking their opponent's scoring area to gain points. Aiming to capitalise on the success of Pokemon Go, this title will be free to play and available on both mobile and Switch, making it accessible to all fans of the series. Judging by the build shown off in the Pokemon Presents, we probably won't be waiting too long to play it. Fortnite has been out on the Switch for a while now, so it was only logical that EA would follow suit in bringing its own Battle Royale shooter Apex Legends to the console. Details are light on the port, but it's slated to arrive towards the end of the year, and will have cross-platform support, meaning you'll be able to squad up with PS4, Xbox One and PC players. EA appears to have renewed its interest in bringing more games to the Switch, following the Burnout Paradise remaster, and is said to be planning to port a number of titles to the system in the next 12 months, including Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Let's just hope they can make a decent version of FIFA sometime soon, instead of the Legacy Edition they've been fobbing off on us for the last few years. That isn't the only first-person shooter coming to Switch soon though, as a few classic fan favourites are gunning for a new lease of life on the system. First up is Crisis Remastered, Crytek's graphically demanding shooter that threatened to blow up even the best PCs when it debuted in 2007. 
13 years on, the update will now be available for all current gen consoles, and was originally aiming for a July 23rd release date. It's been pushed back later in the year though, due to the reaction to the less than stellar looking footage that was leaked recently. Also making a comeback is Cell Shaded Adventure Game 13, which is a remake of the version released on Xbox, PS2 and GameCube. Who am I? And while owners of other consoles might already be blasting their way through hell and back in Doom Eternal, we're still waiting on the sequel to come to Switch. No release date has been set, but Bethesda and developers Panic Button have promised it will be sometime in 2020. The delay is to ensure that the game is of the highest quality, which is probably a good thing considering how some ports like Outer Worlds turned out. A slightly more mellow take on Heaven and Hell, Spiritfarer is described as a cozy management game about dying, where you play a fairy master called Stella, transporting people to the afterlife. Except these people are her family and friends, and she must help them come to terms with their situation before they can move on. It looks like a visually stunning tale that is sure to creep onto many best of lists come the end of the year. Recently, we got our first look at some gameplay of No More Heroes 3 during the New Game Plus Expo stream in a rather tongue-in-cheek way, as it was shown behind Grasshopper Manufacturer's CEO Goicha Suda during the presentation with no reference to it. Still, the threequel is supposedly on track for a 2020 release, so expect a proper look at Travis Showdown hacking and slashing his way through Santa Destroy sometime soon. Exploring a new world is the central conceit of Haven, an immersive RPG where you play as two lovers, you and Kay, who are searching for a place to call home. Developed by Game Bakers, the French studio behind Fury, it's built with co-op in mind, with each player controlling one character and utilizing their unique abilities. The game is slated to come later in 2020 and is sure to be one of the standout games of the year. We thought it was a given that a Kingdom Hearts game would eventually make its way to Switch, but what we didn't expect was it was going to be a rhythm action game in the vein of Guitar Hero. That's what we're getting though, with Melody of Memory boasting 140 tracks from the series alongside all the characters we've come to know and love. We simply can't wait. And now, it's time for a wild rumour. Although it's not the most reliable way to see what games are on the horizon, a number of Amazon placeholder listings from various game companies have cropped up recently, hinting at a few unannounced games that were probably due to be revealed at E3. One that's gaining the most attention though are two listings from Take Two, parent company of Rockstar and 2K Games. While one of these games is most likely an NBA game, the other one is still a mystery. Could this possibly be the long-awaited Grand Theft Auto V port we've all been waiting for? The fifth entry in the series has been on every console since its release apart from a Nintendo system. Let's not forget a version of GTA V was even prototyped for the Wii U, so Rockstar aren't against putting it on a Nintendo system. And the Switch has proven that it can handle games like The Witcher 3, so it's not out of the realms of possibility. So could this mean we'll be driving around San Andreas on the go very soon? We'll just have to wait and see. I'll swing by and sign the contracts, alright? Just ignore the bodies. Well, that's all the games you didn't know were coming to Nintendo Switch in 2020. What games are you looking forward to playing this year? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.